said, it's interesting that our company sent a productivity consultant in to talk with us because I'm already working 60, 70, 80 hours a week. And she said, if you tell me to do more with less, I might just throw up. I don't want to do more with less. I actually want to do less and achieve more. Have you ever asked yourself the question in all seriousness, if I didn't do this at all, would anybody notice? <laughs> if you as a leader had 10 folks on your team and you can get them to increase productivity by 10%. Now you have the equivalent of 11 people headcount and you didn't have to increase salary expense. This is leverage. Why should we do anything differently? This has helped us be successful before. Let's just keep doing that. But we know that we can't. We have to change in order to be profitable. Execution really is the strategy nowadays. We better be figuring out how to do those things that are really going to drive that strategy forward and create value. So when you look at what do you do more of, you also then have to look at what do you do less of. Have you heard there's a new OCD, by the way? I'm being very serious, called Email Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. Seri I'm not kidding, my mother's a psychologist, so I always hear about these. Remember the studies of um, Pavlov with a dog and the bell, where he would ring the bell and the dog would salivate, and pretty soon could just ring the bell and elicit the salivation response without a treat. Remember that from learned response or conditioned response. So they say that email today is the business equivalent of Pavlov. Right? You're supposed to be working on this report and you get a little ding, you're like, you gotta check it, and we just can't. And they say it's so addictive. Uh, and, and so I have kind of theories around this. Part of me thinks that it's almost like Christmas. Like, I wonder what it is. I oh, can't stand it, you know? Or, or maybe it is a way of kind of procrastinating, like, please, God, help this be something more important than what I'm doing. The VP of Finance said he asked his analyst for a number to put in a PowerPoint show. The guy said, great, went off and did it. Hours later, came back, gave him this perfect number down to like the seventh decimal place. The guy said, my gosh, how long did it take you to do that? He said, like five hours, proudly. He goes, I was just looking for plus or minus a million. Okay, now whose, whose fault is this, right? See, it's the culture. We don't say, hey, I need this number from you. I'm thinking it's gonna be plus or minus a million. It should take you 15 minutes. If it's more than that, let me know. Shouldn't the VP have said that, right? But should the analyst have said, I'm happy to give you the number that you're looking for here. I'm guessing it's gonna take me several hours to do what I think you're asking for. Is that what you want? Couldn't that conversation have taken place too? This is all about workflow. It's how do I grab information as it's coming into my world and take it out and get it into this funnel so that I can systematically be making good decisions on what I need to work on and eliminating a lot of the inefficiencies. Organizations who have leaders who can create problem-solving people who think strategically, who work with agility, those are the ones who are going to get greater results.